Look at this. Boot heel. Happy to have you. So the first thing you do when you start a mining claim is you have to give a notice of location. And so this mine, they had eight different claims and it was called the Lone Pine Mine. And those holes that you were looking at up there are claim one, two, three, and four. And a claim is 300 feet by 660 feet. So I don't know how many acres that, well, it's about 20 acres is what it is. So that's exactly what it is. So on June 3rd, 1940, they went to the county and gave... This is the Euler group. The Euler group. They gave... Um, I'll tell... It's uh, Roy Euler was the name on the notice of location. He was... Roy was a brother to Joseph and John and that group, okay? And so they gave the notice of location and it says it's situated three-fourths of a mile south of the home site and that's about where it is right okay so in 19 1940 so after you put your notice of location and you have to do so much work on the claim to retain ownership of the claim and so it says here they and you have to record this even today it's no different today than it was 80 years ago. So Lee Peterson, so if you go on Family Search and look up Joseph Euler's name, you'll see their contract in what's it, in the memories. Memories. And so Lee Peterson was one of the one of the owners of the mine that signed that contract. Lee Peterson and Roy Euler being first duly sworn. Um, <clears throat> have caused work to be done on Lone Pine Mine 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 situated on the Rocky Pass Mining District and the labor was from, on July 1st till July, July 1st 1941 till July 1st 1942 consisted of improved roads grades and bins and uh, removed 444,480 cubic feet of rock from whatever hole they were digging at the time and that's what they did that year and this actual amount of work it said for the improvements for that year was $2,500 and they had to do $100 worth of work per claim. Okay. Each year? Each year. So the busiest year for their claim was 1943. And that year, they dug out 9,520 9, cubic feet of rock and ore out of the ground up here. And I figured that out, and that is a shaft seven feet high, seven feet wide, 195 feet deep. So that's a lot of five gallon buckets of rocks. And then by the year 1946, they were just about done here. And it says in 1946, they did 10 days of labor worth $120 and they spent $10 worth of materials and so when that starts winding down that's they're just about ready to shut things down they are barely wanting to do the minimum thing probably didn't take any ore out in 1946 and after that there's not any records <coughs> showing that they did work out here and so so tell us where they took it they took the tungsten or from here and Brett and I found a, some big timbers right over here in the wash in the canyon and we think that that's where they'd run that ore up and dump it in some trucks and I can't imagine 
even the road we came on today uh -huh. driving a two-ton truck down the canyon to loaded with you, you know what those trucks were like in that <laughs> in, in yeah it didn't have very good brakes mm. so they would take them from here down to Lucin, oh. load it on a train oh. car and then from there it would be delivered to wherever they were I heard, um, I heard Battle Mountain, but I don't know. It could be somewhere they, out in Nevada. They yep. had to go out there to uh, have it uh, milled. Yep. And so the story goes, Grandpa Schaefer, Grandpa Great, um, told us that the first ore he remembers loading on a ore car in Lucinde was the day that Pearl Harbor was gone. Mm. And so that's what I, I heard him tell me. and. That's the story that I'm going to tell you. So that's what I know. So that's the history lesson that we have. Yeah, what? Well, that was in December when they were loading it on. That's right. Yes. They worked all summer and then just got worked it all summer it. digging it out and then they started hauling it down there. Yep. Yep, you're right. <laughs> and Tom looked up the price of. Tungsten today. Tungsten today per metric ton. That's twenty-two hundred pounds is one hundred and twenty dollars. Oh. And I would. Ex I don't have any idea what they were getting for it in nineteen forty-three. I would guess it'd be a little bit more. <laughs> it might have been more than that then. But it couldn't have been enough. I mean, look at the work. I who would want to work that hard? Yeah. Right now? Now. 125 bucks a pound. Yeah, holy smoke. But they. Um, but now, how did they? How did they? Did they have a rock crusher up here to crush it down to the ore. Nope. Or they just how did, the whole rock down? How did they get it out? Smelt it or whatever. So they were. Uh, they had in one of these documents it said they were buying powder and fuse, and so they would drill into those rock faces, pack them with powder, blast them go back the next day, muck them out. Some of them, we saw a track in one of them, so we know they had a little ore cars. Tracks. So they would physically put that rock in the ore car, and that's, and it would be broken up, Jeremy, not huge pieces. And so pieces like that, they'd take down to loose in, and then Reed said Battle Mountain would get taken out there to finish the process. Seems like that's what so then how do they know how much actual tungsten they had out of their rock? They would probably have to trust what they trust whoever got it. Whoever got it from them. Yeah. My guess is they no. sold it by the by the ton on the ore, which would have been a yeah lower price. So they just sell it sell sell the ore. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what we know. Definitely labor intensive. Yeah. I'll put all these documents on the memories for Joseph. And I'll attach them to some of the other Euler brothers too, so you'll have them to look at. And you don't, we really don't need paper anymore. So, um, <laughs> but if you ever get curious, you can go to the courthouse in Brox Elder County and look at the very documents that they have. But Just a side thing to that: their their sister Vic Victoria was married to uh, she was Larson. So the family, the Larson family, was actively involved, with, not with this, but, but it, that's the same family. You know, she married a uh, oiler. Huh. Wow. And she was, she was John Oiler's huh. sister. Interesting. Yeah. Well, she was actively involved she was, in it then. She was, married, uh, she was a sister of Joe and... Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah. Cool. How do they get the tungsten out of the ore? I have no idea what the process is. I don't know. I haven't looked into that. Much. No value. It'd be a smelting process of crushing and drink. something. Yeah, like gold. Like well, you guys. You guys did a great thing here. Yeah, just together and being able to do it. I'm just glad you came. It's been awesome today. Oh, well, yeah. Really good. And it's, uh, it's a great opportunity. Yeah. Glad you put the effort into it. At least it gives you a little bit of understanding of our, what our forefathers went through, right? Right. Look what Jan found. Oh, wow. Arrowhead. Arrowhead, yep. Let's see. Lucky girl. Did you 
<laughs> Did you bring she that tried. with you? Yeah. <laughs> she had it in her pocket. <laughs> she had it in her pocket all along. Yeah, that's a good idea. She's sitting over there looking for Arrowhead saying, Brian, shut up, I can't focus. Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? You've seen that before? Yeah. yeah. Should have picked it up. Yeah, I seen that at Grandma's house last week. <laughs> <laughs>